Good day guys and welcome back to Austin Studio. In today's video we're going to tell you what Disney content is still available on stand. Now we haven't got any news, it's a little bit hard to find news on our stand when everything is going to get removed. But we did get a comment yesterday of testing, will stand be affected by Disney Plus? And in the most part, yes it will be because Disney content will eventually be removed. Um, that may be a year, six months, we really don't know. There's so many articles saying October, October. But October has passed and um, a lot of these companies, companies are Americans and they just don't know when Stand is going to lose the content. And some of the Australian articles say um, October and so on, but it's not removed, it's still here. And some people are saying uh, Disney and Stand are still in a year agreement, so in a year's time you may see all your content disappear. So let's talk about what is on uh, stand at the moment, what Disney content is on here, and then we'll tell you is it better to just stay off stand or join Disney Plus. Let's get into it. So this is all the Disney content that you do have when you search in Disney. So as you see you can scroll through all your Disney content, you got all the Marvel content, the Disney, Walt Disney content, and your Disney Channel content. Again, not all the Disney Channel content, but a little bit of it. So if we scroll down, so these are all your Disney Pixar um, films right here. So you've got Up, then you've got Iron Man, Cars, um, Bolt, uh, High School Musicals, and so on down here. So if we go down a little bit more, there's a lot of Disney content on here at the moment. So if we go down a little bit, you're going to start getting to your Disney Channel original movies right here as well. So your Teen Beach, Hannah Montana, and so on. If we go down a little bit more, so some of these aren't Disney, sometimes it puts other content in here. So these ones here isn't Disney at all, so just ignore those. Um, you got more Disney, you got Jesse, Raymond's Home, all down there, that's all Disney Channel content. Again, there's still a lot of Disney content on stand at this present point. You got Casey Undercover, um, Stuck in the Middle and Bunked, and a lot more Disney content down here as well. Disney Channel content, Girl Meets World, Austin Alley, uh, yeah, a lot down here. And then it basically cuts off down here. So none of this else is Disney. But as you see, there's still a lot of Disney content on here. So the big question is, when will Stan lose it? I've done a lot of research. I did a lot of research this morning and last night. And honestly, I can't find the answer out for you guys. It's good. It's actually a pretty hard one to um, get into, find out what is happening. So a lot of people say October, but nothing has been removed in October. So if I could guess, is they are in a year agreement, and basically what that means is, depending on when they sign that agreement, just say they sign that in, uh, I believe actually this was on in April. So just say they sign the agreement in April, means it's going to expire in April 2020 meaning that's when you'll lose all your Disney content, right there. So that's how all that will work. So that way, then you'll lose all your Disney content, and now we'll talk about, is it worth joining Disney Plus or just staying with Stan? So if you're a Disney fan and you wanna see all the new Disney movies, you wanna see the Disney Channel show, uh, Disney Plus will definitely be the best place to subscribe to, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. So we're looking at $8.99 or $89 a year, which is so much cheaper than Stan. If you subscribe to it with Stan, you're looking at 10 bucks a month, or if you want it in 4K, you're looking at $17 a month. So Disney Plus is definitely cheaper, and you're gonna have way and way more Disney content. You know, have your Disney Channel original movies, your Disney Channel TV shows, or so you've got your Disney Plus exclusives, uh, you've got Disney Pixar's, National Geographic, Star Wars, and so much you're gonna see on Disney Plus. So honestly, um, I wouldn't subscribe to Stand if you're just subscribing for Disney, um, but if you are subscribing to Stand for any other reason, so for more movies, more TV shows, definitely do it for that reason, but don't subscribe to Stand if you're doing it just for Disney, because the Disney content isn't going to last. Next year, this time, you're definitely not gonna see any of that Disney content on there. It's going to be gone by then. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little video. If you found it helpful, let us know down below. If you've got any questions, or if you'd like to see any other videos like this, let us know as well, and that really does help us out. Thanks again for watching, Ostar Studios. Thank you for watching Ostar. To maintain our high standards, feel free to let us know if the audio was too quiet, or if the picture were significantly hard to see. We always appreciate your feedback. Alternatively, you can contact our main office at support at gbtnetgo.com. 
We're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sydney Standard Time. You can always contact us if something in the video was significantly incorrect. Thanks again for watching All Star. Bye for now and have a great evening.